It's day two of Big Data, and I'm here with Viviana Gradinario. She's a professor of biology at Caltech University and one of our presenters here today. She also happens to be a winner of the NIH Director's New Innovator Award and one of Cell's 40 Under 40. Viviana, how are you doing today? Very good. It's an excellent meeting. Thank you very much mm -hmm. for inviting me. So um, tell us a little bit about what you were presenting on today. Yes, so I presented about technologies that my group is developing with a focus on anatomical and functional investigation of brain circuits. So we focus on technologies such as optogenetics for activity control and clarity for mapping long-range projection circuits. And Clarity is the big thing. You were one of the original developers of it, correct? Yes, this work actually originated at Stanford. I uh, previously worked with Carl Dysrod in the bioengineering at uh, Stanford, and I was part of the initial team that developed Clarity. And in our group at Caltech, we are further developing the method. Tell us a little more about Clarity. I mean, these pictures are just beautiful. How does that help you understand the brain better? Exactly. There is a big need to look into deep tissue and not only to get optical access but also to have the ability to phenotype by this meaning to attribute certain labels to cell types or proteins. And before Clarity this was not possible because you, it's difficult to have both optical access and macromolecule access. So we remove the lipids and we create uh, pores where the molecules can go in and bind and label structures of interest in various colors. So it's kind of a color map of the brain, you would say? Yes. That's great. And why don't you tell us a little more about how this relates to big data? You started talking about that before. Yeah, so we generate, in order to image this, we want to have a picture of the brain at high resolution. There are these very tiny structures called synapses that mediate a lot of the function of the brain. So we want to be able to image at that resolution, but do that at a very large scale across brain structures or across entire organs. And this generates about um, files on your of terabytes of data, especially if you want to overlay multiple colors. And this this meeting was extraordinary because it put together two groups of people, people that have the problem with big data and people that might have the solution. So the questions from the audience were very interesting because they came from different perspectives and some of the people in the audience they said, oh, we might have a solution for this problem. So just the ability to take these groups and put them together and have them communicate, that's very important. Well, thank you so much, Viviana. For Big Data, this is Marin Shapiro.